Hi guys, Bruce here. I have to speak up because the heater's running right above my head. So, my nephew gave me this old battery. Uh, it's it's not very good shape, but you just never know. It might be okay for boosting tractors and stuff once I get it changed up. So here's the voltmeter right here. And I'm just going to take a voltage reading of this battery across the posts, <laughs> if I can. Okay, you ready? And then we got 3.47 volts. So the first thing I'm going to do is shine up this ugly post. And if you do a lot of this, you should wear a respirator, because this is lead, right? <clears throat> okay. So my plan is, this is just, uh, this is not window cleaner, this is uh, windshield washer. It's very similar. I'm just cleaning up the battery on the top before I open it. And I'm going to open it and check to see if the cells are low on fluid, which is sulfuric acid, right? But I'm going to add water to it if it's low. Yeah, that looks better already, doesn't it? I'm just going to grab a screwdriver. Better yet, a pry bar. Yes, and it's out of water. I'll get a flashlight. Okay, so what I'm looking for is I'll show you now. Don't get dizzy. Right inside there, you can see the plates are exposed in most of the cells. So I'm going to top it up with distilled water, put the charger on, and we'll see in a day or two if it comes back to life. I know, I probably dropped a couple of things down there. So let's get some distilled water. I'll be back in a bit. All right, the furnace is still going. And I've got some distilled water here. Now I'm just gonna use my turkey baster to even these out a little bit. And as you guys know, this turkey baster is no longer a turkey baster, right? Okay, but I might find another low battery to put this in. Just trying to save this battery. Maybe use it as a garage battery, a booster battery. You'd be amazed uh, what you can do with a battery. This one here is a tractor battery and it was off the LX-178 and it was dead flat. And uh, I have charged and discharged it probably, oh I don't know, half a dozen times and it's actually to the point where I can use it as a, as a tractor battery now. So. Never give up, man. Just keep trying stuff. Experiment. So I'm just going to finish cleaning this up and we'll put the char... Oh, let's put the charger on it right now. Duh. Positive and negative. And plug it in.
analyzing. We'll come back when it settles down. All right, guys, I'm just finishing up the restoral of this battery. It's now drawing 0.4 of an amp, 0.3 of an amp. Look at that. And we 14.8 volts, and it's at 90% capacity. I don't know if I believe that or not, but it'll definitely start a yard tractor. And I've got a little project in mind for this battery, and we'll show you that later. Hi, guys. You're looking at the battery that I resurrected here. There, there's the meter. And all the furnace just came on. It's cold outside. So now I'm going to go across the posts with the meter. And it's 12.75 volts. So considering it was 3 volts when I started, that's pretty good. So now I have to speak up. This ugly looking contraption is a shelf. It used to hold a pressure washer. But I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to mount that edge to this handle so that the shelf sticks out like that and I'm going to mount the battery charger on that shelf on this side and I'm going to put the battery down on the bottom of that little cart which is these are the handles like that, right? And we're going to add cables and I'm going to have a portable power station because every time I get a tractor or a big piece of equipment delivered it ends up on the other side of the yard and I haul batteries back and forth and chargers and extension cords and all kinds of stuff. So this is going to be my portable charging cart. It's going to change over the years. I want a better battery charger and probably over time put a really good battery on there. But this is how projects start. Thanks, guys. So my, I'll just come back. My first job is to cut this off of this arms here with a angle grinder. Okay, I'm going to do this cut outside because I just serviced and washed my truck, and I don't want these iron filings all over everything that's not good to do anyway because they're conductor right so I'm gonna try and do this outside let's just do it Now, this is our cart, right? You guys saw that. This bracket is going to go on there. Like, it's heavy. Like that. Right? And then the battery charger is going to go on there like that. Along with a myriad of other little things, right? Chargers and i uh, got some trickle chargers. Like this. This is a 12 volt DC output converter, right? Then maybe we'll wrap an extension cord around it. And the battery is going to go in the bottom tray here. <laughs> I know. You probably guys, you guys probably figure everything I have has been broken. So now I just have to drill a few holes and fix a few things and fool around with this. Holy smokes, that was well made. I had to do some pretty major grinding to get that off of there. But now there's no place to cut yourself on it. I don't think. It's ugly. But I tell you, when we're done, we'll be able to uh, paint it and it'll look not too bad. So now I'm going to just drill a few holes in here, here and here, so we can mount it on the handle. Be right back. 
All right, this thing is made out of good metal. I'm just doing the quarter inch holes now. I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah. Get a bigger bit and uh, chamfer the edges. Anything will work. Ha <laughs> baby! Wants to cut a hole. My vision is still intact here. I kind of drilled these holes at an angle because this thing is, yeah, I think that's going to work. And then we're going to have a lid on it like that. We might as well take it down as far as we can. Something like that. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Sorry, I apologize so much. Must be a Canadian. Okay, so this thing doesn't really want to sit on there that well. So I'm just going to uh, do one. And then we'll uh, fit it as we go. Oh yeah, there's my mark right there. Whenever you're doing tubing, drilling holes in tubing, you have to make sure that everything lines up perfectly. I don't know if I'm explaining this well, but... We'll use. Oh, we may have to come through the other way. See, everything affects everything when you're fabricating. That's not bad. Okay. Okay, guys. I had to cheat a little bit, and I bent this what you might call a flange on the side. I had to bend it back a little bit on both sides. There was just no other way. So now I'm just uh, finishing that up because the bolts wouldn't fit into the corner and I should have thought about that earlier. That's all right. We're not working on the space shuttle, right? screwed it up on the mounting of the power uh, the base. Oh, that's good. Okay. And I'll just take you for a little walk. The reason why I'm I don't use that little cart anymore is because I have a real I have a real what they call a truck to use for heavier items, right? So that's why I can use this little red one for what I want. <laughs> <laughs> 